Hi guys. Today I want to talk about one of the things that's really bugging me at the moment, and that's this weight loss obsession that's going on. I mean, January is a prime time for it. People want to come in and they want to talk about sort of how they want to lose weight and how they're obsessed about just those numbers on the scale. Um, one of the things that always bothers me is BMI. People look at their BMI numbers, and if they're not in that 20 to 25 category, they want to be then they assume that they're overweight and they desperately need to lose weight. And it's all about the scales. It's all about those numbers that they see every day. It's exacerbated really by um, the fitness industry. I mean, I'm guilty of it myself in some of the marketing we did here in Limitless in the past. We talked about weight loss and losing weight. And you know, I'm not proud of that. I, I really don't like to see that now in my marketing. Because um, all we're doing is we're creating um, Guilt, really, guilt and anxiety amongst our athletes and amongst our um, clients because that obsession with weight loss is, is not great. It's not going to get you motivated, really. You look at fitness magazines, you know, all they're showing you is pictures of guys that are fitness models, basically, with their six packs and girls the same. When you see celebrities, they're sort of, oh, yeah, I lost all this weight on this diet and that diet. And people just sort of think that's the be all and end all with with why you do fitness and why you do exercise and, and they think that's that's kind of the whole purpose of it is really um, the purpose of exercise isn't just that it's about getting healthier and yeah I agree obesity is an issue and if you've got a level of, of fat that's making you unhealthy then yes that is definitely an issue needs to be addressed and you need to look at that but your prime focus cannot be on losing weight you really need to shift that focus onto actually different goals. I mean, here, when we're training here and with our clients, we have benchmarks, we have measures of fitness. So we have things like, you know, how much weight can you lift? How fast can you do this workout? Um, you know, if you're at home, you can think, okay, I'm gonna try and go for a run and I'm gonna see if I can run to the lamppost at the end of the street. And then I can see if I can run a bit further without getting breath. Or you maybe, if you're, if you've, you know, a bit more experienced, you can say, I'm gonna try and improve my 5K time. Um, Remember press ups. You know, there's so many things you can measure for your level of fitness. What about how mobile you are? Um, what about just the sort of the, the feeling of being more energized during the day or having more energy, being able to play with your kids without getting out of breath, without getting tired, um, sleeping better, better well being? You know, I have clients come in and just say they're, they're, they're happier. You know, someone came in the other day and said that their partner was happier ever since they started training here, just in their everyday life. So, all of those areas are measures that you need to use with your training. And if you've got more than one measure, more than just the scales, you're much more likely to stick at it. You know, if you can say, okay, I didn't lose weight this week, but you know what? I did my biggest ever deadlift, or do you know what? I succeeded in doing a handstand for the first time. You know, you made an achievement that week. You're much more likely to come back. I know from my own experience, if I've got a client or an athlete in the gym, that is just coming in every week talking about how much weight they've lost, then as soon as they start not losing weight, they're gonna stop training or they're gonna lose motivation and then it's our job to bring them back. We, you know, we work on goal setting sessions here and I tell the coaches that our goal setting shouldn't be on weight, it should be on the other numbers. Yes, we can look at body fat percentage, that's a great one to look at in terms of shredding that off, but again, that's another one that it's not the be all and end all. Look at other motivational factors in your fitness. You really need to, if you're gonna be fitter, healthier, and happier, then you need to find methods that are gonna get you consistent in your training and are gonna get you enjoying the whole journey of getting fitter because it's not a three month cycle where you just suddenly go to the gym and you do a little bit of training and you're like, oh, I've lost half a stone. And then you stop and you're like, okay, I'll just be fine now and I'll try and maintain that. That is not gonna be healthy for you, okay? And it's all about health and wellness. So to be healthy, you need to be training consistently and to train consistently, you need to find something you enjoy and something that motivates you and you need to be constantly reviewing your goals, constantly reviewing things that you're gonna try and achieve to do that, okay? So forget about weight. That is just a road to demotivation and quitting. Find some goals that you can motivate yourself with and start to enjoy the whole process of moving and getting fit. Enjoy that whole journey, because it's a journey you will take with you from now to the rest of your life. Okay guys, hope that helps.
and uh, speak to you soon.